Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And tonight's video is just a little short video on editing nodes and, and doing some different thinking of how you can do some things. When we click on, click on this item, we have a star with five sides. You can go to Arrange and go down to Convert to Curve or Control Q. And now you've turned it into a curve on one layer. It's no longer, well, it is a star, but Corel doesn't think of it as a star. Then grab your shape tool. When you grab a node, you have some windows and menus open up, but you can also just grab on that node and right click your mouse. Let's break apart. So now we have two separate nodes that are uh, allowing us to move them around. So we'll click on one. I've got my nudge distance set on five inches. Let's click on one of them and move it to the five inches out of the way. Click on the other one and move it five inches out of the way. Now I can select them both, right click my mouse, and I can join those and it's going to go right back. Or I can select both those right click close curve and I get a completely different shape now anytime when you're working with your shape tool you never have to go up here and do some things you could add a node right here in the middle by just by double clicking and then you could put it wherever you want it same thing you can double click on it and it will go away Using the nudge distance on, on nodes is pretty cool. I've selected both the top one. We're going to go up five inches. I've got a completely different shape. I'm just thinking that could be an award or something or whatever, but I've already drawn the same uh, star with an engravable line. So that would cut out and engrave, and this would be open to put somebody's name. But just think about when you've got your shape tool, you can add nodes. Double click, take them away. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.